Hey there, the Networkberg here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to import a Mikrotik CHR or cloud hosted router into EVENG. We'll be using this blank topology to bring in a couple of routers and we will just make sure that they, all of them work. Uh, before we start the video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos if you enjoy the content. It does help grow this channel. Thanks so much. Let's jump into the video. All right, so let's go into how to import a Mikrotik CHR to EVENG. So we've got a blank canvas. This is a pretty new setup of EVENG. There are no nodes configured yet. So we'd like to add a node, but you'll see all of these nodes are grayed out. So you can't import any of them. They will not run. You need the software image in order to run the software. So I would like to run a Mikrotik router uh, and I know it is here, there we go, it's a Mikrotik router OS, but it's grayed out. So how do I actually import the router image? There's no option to do it from here. Uh, it will all be done via the command line on your EVNG Linux server. So the first thing that we do is we just need that CHR image. So we could go to mikrotik.com, opens up the Mikrotik web browser or the web page and from here and it's quite easy and this is what I love about Mikrotik is it's it's free you can get the cloud hosted router it's going to have a license level one um, but you can use this router as long as you want to I mean it's really a fantastic thing that uh, Mikrotik has so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the software tab it's already going to be at the downloads if you don't have Winbox I suggest downloading that as well it works great in conjunction with um, the router images and just to manage Mikrotik routers in general. It is a GUI um, image or a GUI software that comes with Mikrotik's products so that you can manage them. It's really nice. So what we want is we are going to find the cloud hosted router and we can just use the VMDK image and we'll use the most stable image. So I've already got this downloaded, but um, we can download this again for the sake of the video. And it's very small. You saw it's 33 meg and that's the whole router. It's, it's really, really awesome that you can run this off of your own computer. All right, so we've got the image, but now we need to get the image onto the Eve server. So to do this, we need to use either FileZilla or we need to use uh, WinSCP. So I'm currently using WinACP in order to create the SFTP connections to EVNG. So I'm going to connect to 192.168.246.240, which is the EVE server's IP address. This could be something different for you. Just remember that. Um, you can put in the username and password here so long. This will be the login credentials you use to get into the box. But before I sign in, I just quickly want to jump onto that EVE server. Let's uh, go to 192.168.246.200 and we'll SSH into it. We can use root and EVE. And now we are on the command line of that box. So the first thing that we want to do is we just want to create a directory for our software image. And this will be under the OPT. This will be under the unit lab. This will be under add-ons. This will be under Kimu. And then we can create the folder that we want. All right, so it is Mikrotik dash. Uh, the Mikrotik bit is import important because that is actually what uh, Eve sees whenever it's looking for the software images. So when you right click on uh, those nodes, that's the portion that Eve is looking for to confirm that there's a software image for this specific device. The dash um, that we just use to maybe specify what the version is of the software image that we want to import. So in my case, let's just jump into the... I'm just going to go into images because this is where I've already got the image stored. So it will be a chr-6.45.6. So chr-6.45.6. 
5.6 and that's it so we've got a new directory where we can upload our software image onto and we're going to do that just now using WinACP All right, so it's prompting me for my username and password. That is going to be root and eve. All right, so I can just quickly navigate to the same folder, opt unit lab add-ons kimu. And there's the folder that we created. You could also have created the folder from here, but um, we, we just did it through the command line. All right, so we've got our folder. So now I just quickly need to get to my images and I'm just going to drag and drop this into that folder. There we go. We've got the software image. So it is technically in here. We can verify that by doing an ls minus la. Oh, um, I'm being silly. We need to just change directory there. ls minus la. And there is the image that we uploaded. Now we just need to convert the image into something that Eve understands. So we will do this by changing this image to, we're going to change it to hda.cqc or qcal2. Um, that should be it. And then we just hit enter. And then we just need to fix the permissions. So I've got that already stored here in a notepad. But I'm just going to copy paste that. So we're going to run opt unit lab wrappers unl underscore wrapper minus a fix permissions. And there we go. So if we jump back into our Eve topology, we go into Eve, we can see if I right click and I select nodes and I scroll down, I should have the Mikrotik router OS. And so now you see it is blue. It's no longer grayed out. So I can select it. Now I can say how many routers do I want to add? Their names will be Mikrotik. How many, how much GPU, how much RAM do I want to allocate to these devices? How many ethernet ports do they have? Um, so it's really nice. And you can also import like a to start up configuration for the devices if you have any. So I'm just going to save this. And there we go. I've got four Mikrotik routers and I can mold them and do with them whatever I want to. So I can move them around in the topology. And before I start them, I'm just going to... Let's do this. Let's also just add a network. We're going to add a bridge, but it's going to be for the management cloud because this is the NATed interface that we're already accessing EVE on. So if I've got this here, this would technically allow the Mikrotix to get internet breakout as well and for my computer to communicate with the Mikrotix on um, their IP addresses with Winbox. So that's really nice as well. So let's just connect all the devices on Ethernet 1 because by default that does have DHCP configured. All right, so let's quickly power these routers on. I just selected them all and I'm starting the selected. And it's, it's done, guys. That, that's how easy it is to import a Mikrotik cloud hosted router or router into EVNG. So we can make all kinds of nice topologies with this. I just double clicked on it. You can also right click it and, well, you can't do that. Just double click it, open, shortcut, uh, basic logins, admin, and blank. We don't want to see the license. There we go. It's a Mikrotik cloud hosted router. IP router print, IP address print. All right, so it didn't pick up the DHCP yet, but that's fine. Let's just give it an IP address statically. IP address add address 192.168.246. Dot. Let's make uh, this router 202 on Ether 1. So now I should be able to also ping the eve server oh i don't have a route let's just quickly add it ip i'm being silly ip address set 
address 192.168.246.202 slash 24 interface. Um, no, that's just for zero. There we go. So now I should be able to ping Eve. There's the Eve server. I should be able to ping that. That's my actual gateway of the NAT. So awesome. If I open up Winbox, I should be able to connect to that IP address as well. So let's try 192.168.246.202. Admin blank. Boom. We're on a Mikrotik cloud hosted router. So we have all the functionality that we have or want with uh, Mikrotik. You can set up BGP, OSPF, anything that you want to um, and learn. And that's really cool. So I hope the video has been informative and that you've learned something new. And I wish you luck in any labs that you might be configuring in the future. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.